Hey, this is Sundar from C4E Tech and welcome to another episode of C4E Apps. Today, let's take a look at 5 Android keyboards I feel are worth your time. The first one on the list is, of course, Google's own keyboard. It's minimalistic and is actually quite popular amongst the users for a few reasons. It's preloaded on a lot of Android phones, but that's not the only reason. This keyboard's actually quite simple to use, and Google keeps updating it often, tweaking it and adding new features to it, like for example, a number row when you're prompted to enter a password. The autocorrection is also good. The word prediction works good especially given that it's personalized to your Google ID. There are some additional features like gesture delete, a one-handed mode, some themes, and more. One of its biggest strengths is the fact that it supports a large number of languages. But if you think it's a little too stock for your taste, then Minium keyboard might catch your attention. It comes with a unique layout that makes it special. Pulling the keyboard down from the top brings all the characters to one row. This layout takes up just a small space and it comes in handy while using multi-window or in situations where you have to view more of the active app. At first, typing on this keyboard seemed hard, but I found myself liking it quite a lot once I got used to it. The autocorrect feature is quite good. There's also an aggressive correction mode, which comes in handy especially while typing with the one row layout. It predicts words easily. There are also some themes available for the keyboard. Though this keyboard's not free, you get a 30-day trial to check out if it's for you. Moving on, if you want a keyboard with a wide variety of themes, look no further than the Go keyboard. This is one of the oldest keyboards available and given its popularity over time, it's gotten a lot of themes. This keyboard is also quite smooth and the autocorrect is decent. There's also support for gesture typing and you can even use it to send GIFs. Everything about this keyboard is customizable. The background stickers, the fonts, the sounds. One con though is that the free version displays a lot of ads and you have to purchase the pro version to disable them. If you want a keyboard that's completely driven by gestures, Flexi is the one you should be looking at. It's known for its clever gestures like swipe right for space, swipe down to cycle through suggestions, swipe left to delete words, and so on. It also brings up emoji, sticker, and GIF suggestions, and like the Go keyboard, Flexi also lets you send GIFs directly from the keyboard itself. Again, you have theme options, and you can even enable others like number rows, turning the keyboard invisible, and so on. The last keyboard on today's list is probably the most intelligent keyboard ever, SwiftKey. SwiftKey learns from the user. The autocorrection works great. It analyzes usage patterns and throws up predictions based on it. And of course, you get support for themes. Get to pick the layout, the keyboard size. You can even split it or undock it, making it very enticing, especially if you're using a large device. Then there are the fancy options like a heat map and other fun stats based on keystrokes. So that's it, my 5 favorite Android keyboards. Give this video a thumbs up if you already use one of these or if you feel we've missed out on your favorite, again, head on over to the comments below to let us know what it is. If you have any suggestion for other lists or apps you'd want us to feature on C4E Tech, tweet out to us with the hashtag C4E Apps. So that's it for now, thanks a lot for watching. This is Sundar from C4E Tech leaving for the moment. Have a great day.